This is your full tutorial on Go High Level Documents and Contracts, how to set them up, how to automate them, and I'm going to preview it live to you at the end. Think of it like building a digital handshake, one that never forgets, follows up automatically, and locks in the deal 24-7, but most people still send contracts through email and pray they get signed. This is the smarter way, and once you see it work alive, you'll never go back again. So let's get right into it. Okay, so first things first is go to payments and go to documents and contracts. Now, go to templates. Now go to all documents and contracts and go to settings and just make sure these settings are right for you, okay? So scroll through them all. Um, the pretty self-explanatory, just I want you to make sure that for you, they're all fine. Also in invoices and estimates, go to settings. Same thing, go through these settings and make sure they're all good, okay? By the way, be sure to check out the timestamps down below if you want to just skip to the right part. Okay, so let's get into the tutorial. So when you make your um, documents and contracts, what you can do, you can create a template from scratch, you can upload with an existing PDF, you got a template library that will create public documents. So let's just create a new template. I'll show you each. All right, so we start from scratch. Now, on the top left, add element. This is all there is to it, essentially. I, I would recommend creating a PDF and uploading it. It's just easier. Everything comes in quickly. Uh, but you can create it from scratch. So you can put your image in. Yep, so you can put your image in. Then obviously you can add uh, a text below put whatever you want and then here you can copy and put um, contract then put all the details of your contract here so details here then you can add a product list so you go to product you can add items to your product so whatever SEO package come here add item it can all be there so you got your payment settings for this so you can enable direct payment on here if you want or you can have an automatic invoice be sent but i prefer having automations doing that and you can enable auto pay as well so if they've done it once they can use the same card and pay like that you can have it if it's an optional item or not so this is not optional you can edit the quantity so you can let them max have 10 um, if you're having like a physical product and of course you got tables and all that sorts of other cool stuff you can add in and do what you want but the main part is the fillable fields so as you can see here at the bottom you can have a text saying signature um, add in your signature here for yourself add in signature for um, the client email it to yourself. Once you filled it in, it automatically emails the other person. So let's do that now, but let's do it with a PDF because I think it's just easier. And for the sake of the video, you guys in your own time can make your own like contract, write it out if you want. I would put, I would say have a um, PDF, just look, it's just easier. Let's go to documents, let's go back and let's go to new. Let's add upload existing PDF. I just got one from the internet. So just put that in. So it's like an events planning thing, whatever. So what we can do is now add fields to this. So the host is going to be me. The planner will be like the planner, a wedding planner, whatever it is, event planner. It will be them, whoever we're signing it to. So for example, we can add in a text field, make this a bit smaller, maybe here. They can fill that in we can duplicate that. Let's say we want them to just fill the title in as well. And of course, signatures. So let's go down to signature. I'm going to sort out which person signs which in a second. Let's just put these fields in. Signature there. And we want the planner signature there. The date too. So let's want them to fill out the date each. So let's put that there. Let's put that there. Okay. So this uh, PDF has sorted out what this contract entails. We want these now to be signed. So let's say I'm going to do this to myself because I want to show you this live at the end. So let's say host was me. So let's click it. Let's go to be signed by and let's go to Harris Alam right there. So let's go to use template now. Okay, let's click this again. So this one is should be done by me. Yes, this one now, what we want to do is go to recipients. Now we want, let's say we want um, whoever that person is. So let's say it's a random client. You can add a new client in, put the name, like the email stuff, add them in. But I've already off camera added in a client. So let's just put in... This one here cool so now i've added a recipient in so the second person you can even add another person so add more people that you want to add in okay so we want this one now to be done mr jackson over here and this one will be me and this one to be done by mr jackson okay perfect because we've got here in recipients 
like that. Now, what's super cool is that you can have it. So what, after I sign everything, so it doesn't get sent to the other person. Once I sign it, then it gets sent to the other person. So that's cool. So we want to do that. So want me to be first, then the other person, which is me again. So I'm going to show you it on both sides um, to be sent after. So I'm get sent first, they get sent after. Perfect. How about the host? So I'm the host. You want this to be done by me, that to be done by them, for example, whatever. Let's press save. Let's name this high level Harris contract. Okay, before I preview it, I want to create the automations. Let's create the automations now. Okay, so my first automation, what I want to happen is that I want, once they sign the contract, I want to send them an invoice. Second, second automation will be once the invoice is done, I could probably send them an SMS or whatever. You can do what you want with this. Like it doesn't have to be that order. You can just have it. So once they fill their contract, you send them uh, a link to the funnel where they can purchase whatever you want. It's a pretty simple workflow. So let's go to create workflow. So basically on the trigger, what you can do is go to type in contracts. Now, if you have your contract or document as a template, you can filter by template. So you could go template is and select select your template uh specific if you want it specifically but for this one i just have one a normal one so status is uh signed and accepted so when that contract is signed and accepted this is going to fire off okay then i want and i can have an invoice be sent so i can have an invoice send invoice if or if i don't want that i can have an sms go to them and i can have it say hey um, here's the link for the payment form and this could just be our funnel so we just have have a random funnel but I'm just for example sake I don't really need to go there like that and I could just have publish save and then I can have another automation so when they fill out the form or funnel where they purchased they get I don't know SMS email so congratulations let's do that as well so we could come here and just type in order form submission go to funnel um, the funnel is the purchase the software page is purchase page product is the software submission type is a sale boom now we just have send them an email so when they go from there we can just go from there send them an email and it's all good you can be more creative with this if you want help one-on-one -on -one support with this um, plus, plus all these benefits here. If you use my link in the description, first link, you get 30 day free trial with high level, not 14, plus all those benefits. One-on-one -on -one support with me, my snapshots, my sales scripts, my wide level presentations, a whole bunch of things. You've already got a go level account and you want to sign under me, just comment um, under the video or email, or email me and we'll get it sorted. Okay. All right, let's go through it live. So let's send it over. So let, let's send it over. So it should send to me first because I've forgotten recipients. Set signing order, I'm first. So let's press send. You can share a link or email, let's go to email. You can also do this through the Lead Connector mobile app as well. So be, be sure you can do that, it's pretty cool. Um, the default template's fine. If you wanna change it, go to the marketing tab, go to email templates and change it, it's fine. Let's press send. Okay, so um, yeah, here's the first email, here we go. Okay, so you have three required fields. So let's start filling out. So here, host, I'm going to put my name, Harris Adam. Let's go to the next signature, accept. The date, uh, today, and let's press finish. So I've signed my end of the deal. Perfect. Now it will send to the, uh, the second person, which is me again, because it's an example. So it should now be in my email. Here we are, the second one's here. Let's review document. Let's sign my end of it. Start filling out, so let's go here, blah, blah, blah. Let's go to here, Harris Jackson. Don't know why I picked that. Probably because Michael Jackson's the goal. Cool, that's all signed, the document is signed. For, so for the automation, you can see I got the SMS there uh, once I signed the contract. By the way, High Level also emails you the finished document by itself, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, please like the video if you like this. If you want more videos like this, please comment down below if you do. If you're looking to sign up to High Level, use the link in the description, first link, 30 days free trial, plus all the benefits there. Uh, so yeah, that's it, like the video.